This morning, a local director hoping to balance the scales with black and brown representation on feature films. And we've talked about him before. That's Dion Taylor. He created a new film group from his home in Roseville and Granite Bay. ABC 10's Mark S. Allen joins us live from Granite Bay this morning. So, Mark, Taylor has a new film that's coming out tomorrow. It was shot in Kyber's during the height of the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. In a minute, you're going to see images of Strawberry Lodge. That's exactly what we shot. Now making history because it's the first film to be shot entirely in a bubble during the height of the pandemic. Uh, I should point out yesterday, Dion, though he's from Granite Bay, along with his producing partner, they're in New York City right now making all the rounds doing in-person interviews. And that's how I caught up with he, his producing partner, his star Joseph, and of course, Grammy winner T.I. Take a look. Hidden Empire Studios, a movie company created by Dion Taylor and his partner Roxanne Event, run largely by splitting time between their Granite Bay home office and Hollywood. Its sole mission, in Dion's words, to tell great stories of all kinds using more black and brown people in front of and behind the cameras. And they do. This is my house. In the last decade, they've made some very big movies, but the latest is historical. Fear was filmed in the height of the pandemic, solo transporting actors from all points of the world to a cabin just east of Placerville. Where there's a will, there's a way, and the will in Dion is strong. Strong indeed. Dion, you and I talked during the pandemic. You said you were frustrated. You felt isolated because the studios weren't making movies, but you figured out a way to safely make this movie and bring people to the table. But during a time where the world was fearful, did that fear lean into the fear of this movie and in fact make it a scarier movie? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, obviously, during the, during the course of filming and the production of Fear, um, we were actually living in a world that we were all fearful of. And uh, yeah, man, I don't think you can recapture that. I've watched the movie a bunch of times, and the people that have seen the film are like, yo, I can feel it. And I'm like, man, I can too. And uh, it would be completely different if we were shooting that movie now because you can't manifest that. We was actually living in that moment, and the response and the energy that the actors were able to actually bounce off of was very real. Yeah, and the movie is very, very scary. Obviously, I've been friends with Dion's for years, for uh, so my review is going to be somewhat biased, but I did find it very scary. Dion wants me to stress that they traveled people in solo and private and quarantined. They bubbled, they tested every day, and were as safe as they possibly could be. But also, keep in mind, they made that movie during a time when we didn't even know if a theater in America would ever open up again. And now tomorrow, it's exclusively in theaters. Back to you. You can see a lot of passion that he put into his work. My husband met Dion Taylor just a couple of weeks ago. He was traveling back into Sacramento. He said he was so kind. Oh, so yeah. Shows good him guy. Mark's a good friend with him. Thanks, yeah. Mark.